and is a pattern that goes from one cycle to the other that it's only you that can decide if you want to break that cycle or you want to continue with that cycle so if you're in an abusive relationship for the sake of your children let me tell you sister you are destroying the self-esteem of that children you are hello guys and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time of stopping by you are highly welcome my name is wendu i'm a nigerian youtuber that is based in the beautiful city of zurich switzerland if it's your first time of coming across my channel you are so welcome thank you i don't take you for granted just turn on the sub um click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a video i really appreciate we're growing gradually, we're getting there, but surely we're getting there. Yes, yeah, so if you have been following my video for the past few weeks, you will know that I've been doing an episode about domestic abuse. So in this video today, I'm going to be telling you reasons why people don't leave domestic abuse. They are scared to leave. So you might have wondered in the past, you see someone that is going through an abuse and you wonder why is that person still there? Why don't that person just pack their bag and leave? why is the person still there you can see it why are you still in that relationship or situation shape so in this video today we're going to be talking about just few points why people don't leave an abusive relationship sometimes they might not know they are being abused sometimes it's glary in the face you can see it you can even see it if you're blind but you choose to stay and one of the important reason why people stay in an abusive relationship is financial reason yes financially you're dependent on someone maybe let me say for women i'll use women as a case study in this video today let me say you got married to someone your the person is financially okay you know back in nigeria when you're getting married one of the things you're thinking about is oh is this person going to be able to take care of me and the kids and stuff like that then you end up in an abusive relationship where you're financially dependent on your spouse you stay in that relationship because maybe you don't have a job you don't have maybe like you don't speak the language you don't have a job you're not financially stable this person provides everything and when there are kids involved you're thinking about how am i able to pay the school fees of, of the children how i'm gonna survive so this uh, this is one of the reason another reason why people choose to stay in an abusive relationship is what are people gonna say yes a lot of people are deceiving themselves in a relationship that is sour is broken everybody even the blind can see the deaf can hear that the relationship is broken is what are people gonna say but my dear sister my dear brother let me tell you if you stay there and you're no longer here people will speak they will say what they're gonna say if you stay there they will say you leave they are gonna say so most people stay because oh they will say oh her marriage scattered she couldn't keep a man she couldn't stay in a man's house she did this she did that people will talk but let me tell you the gospel truth is after a month or one year that news is no longer news they will move over to the next person if you've been following social media what's happening up on social media don't do dk did this one and he did this one. it's no longer news anymore they are all still news so the same thing your your own is going to get to a stage where it becomes still news that people are not interested in talking about it anymore so the third point why people choose to stay in an abusive relationship is i'm staying because of the children yes you're staying because of the children and destroying your children with your own two hands when you stay in an abusive relationship for the sake of the children, that is the worst thing you can ever do for your children because you're bringing them up in that toxic environment that tomorrow, God forbid, when they grow up and they are in a situation like that, you are in no position to tell them what to do. You're not in a position to give an advice because you took it when it was your time. So don't deceive yourself to say the children don't know. Kids know. They can hear. They know everything that is happening. If you're in an abusive relationship, take one day to take your children out from the ages of even four, five. Take them out to Mr. Biggs, buy ice cream for them, keep them down, ask them questions. Do you know what's happening in the house? Do you know when mommy cry? Do you know when daddy cry? Do you know they will tell you, they will tell you word for word. So don't deceive yourself because mentally you are destroying that children. A lot of African kids or Nigerian, let me speak for Nigeria. A lot of Nigerian children grew up in an abusive relationship. You are destroying the future of your children another reason why people choose to stay in an abusive relationship is the fear of the unknown yes fear of the unknown where am i gonna start 
Where am I going to go to? What's going to happen to I and the children? What are we going to eat? What are we going to do? What, 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 my day, hey, God, oh. when you are no more in that relationship, life goes on. Life goes on. Like I say to people a lot, fear of the unknown can kill. Fear of the unknown. Where you are? Do you know where you are at that, at that time? Even you're in an abusive relationship, you don't even know where you are. You don't even know what you're doing. You don't know you're left from right. You're scared of what is in the future. But what I'm going to tell you in this video is God cannot prepare you. God cannot put you in a situation that he's not able to save you. Before God puts you in, a, in that abusive relationship, he knows his plans for you. And his plans for you are plans of good and not of evil. So if an evil thing is happening to you and God is keeping quiet, it's because he wants you to be the one to make the decision by his guidance. So don't be scared of the un. Don't be scared of what's going to happen. God is going to help you, help your children, heal you. It might not be divorce. I don't like. I'm against divorce, except maybe there's violence involved and very very bad form of abuse. But you can just leave. Um, take a separation. See how it goes. Take that moment to reflect and say, okay, is this relationship working for me? What am I bringing on the table? What am I taking from the table and stuff like that? So don't be scared of the unknown. A lot of people have died or have been um, have been killed in a relationship because they stayed there for the fear of the unknown. Another reason why people don't leave an abusive relationship is, is their comfort zone. It's part of fear of the unknown. It's the comfort zone. It's what you're used to. Is the environment you're used to. You feel that not get like someone said to me, oh, her husband used to beat her. And at a stage, it became the normal thing that when the husband doesn't beat her, she's like, is this man okay? That is her comfort zone. That is what she's used to. She's used to being violated. She's being used to being physically abused. That it becomes her comfort zone. That at a stage, she can't even live without it. Like she misses it. And I'm like, are you serious? She said, yes. That it became, it became a norm that when her husband don't hit her, then she's like, things is not okay. There's something wrong with this man. Comfort zone, comfort zone of where everything is being provided for you. Comfort zone of you can't go out there to look for a job or fend for yourself. Comfort zone that you can't take care of your children alone. Comfort zone that this is the person, he's like a little God in your life. Comfort zone that he provides everything, but in the real sense of it, God is the one that takes care of you. God is the one that provides for you. God, if God wants to take away that job that provides that, thing, God will take it away and you will still survive. If God wants to stop that financial help and the person become crippled or, 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 or decapacitated, God will do it. So why can't you think out of the box? That is one of the reasons why people stay in an abusive relationship. Another reason why people stay in an abusive relationship is the family. Like we all know that in Nigeria, when you get married to someone, you're not only marrying the person, you're marrying the entire family. So when a marriage is broken or when a situation is broken, it actually affects the whole family, not just you and your spouse. It affects the children, it affects the in-laws, it affects the nephews and nieces. Is in rare cases that people or a marriage end and there's still that mutual respect between the spouse. Most of the time, there's always a problem between the spouse and the family. The family gets involved, emotions get involved and everybody gets affected. So these are some of the reasons why people choose to stay in an abusive relationship. I don't think someone in their right sense of mind will stay in an abusive relationship knowing that it's going to lead to a harmful or bad place tomorrow. Most people stay because of some of these factors that I have listed, fear of the unknown, financial reason, their comfort zone for the children, for the family. You see people saying, I am staying because of the children. I want my children to be raised in a family. But in the true sense of it, do you actually have a family? Tell yourself the truth. When you're in an abusive relationship, that environment is very toxic for your children. You're destroying the mental and psychological states of your children. So look at it, ask yourself, am I in this relationship because of the children or am I, am I in this relationship because of me? When you tell yourself the truth, you will know that you're in that relationship because of you, not because of the children. 
because God is the father of the fatherless. God is the mother of the motherless and God will raise your children. So think about this. If you're in an abusive relationship, I wish you that you would take the time to think about your life and that of your children. You are the one that is responsible for your children. As a mother, when a child is useless, nobody says the father did not raise the child properly. Everybody puts the blame on the mother. So as a mother, what is the best decision for you? Always think about you first, your children before your spouse. That is where I'm going to be drawing the curtain for this episode. I hope you enjoy this. Stick around. I'm going to be bringing more videos down to you so if you see someone that is in an abusive relationship maybe you take the time to ask them what is really keeping you in this relationship and hear from the person it might varies it might be different some people might have different opinion but this is my opinion why people stay in an abusive relationship so thank you so much and i'll be seeing you in my next video have an amazing day till i come to your screen again i remain your host wendu bye and god bless you